Thank you, Lord. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Oh, I just want to thank you, Lord. You've been so So good, oh, you've been so good, and I just want to thank you, Lord, you've helped my mind, you've helped just want to thank you, Lord. You've been so good. You've been so good. Oh, you've been so I just want to thank you, Lord. You've helped my mind. You've helped my mind. Well, you've helped my mind. I just want to thank you, Lord. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you made me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget, no, never. How can I forget what you've done for me? How can I forget how you made me free? How can I forget how you brought me out? Jesus, I'll never forget, no, never. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you made me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget. No, never. I won't forget. I won't forget. I won't forget. I can't forget. Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you made me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget, no, never. How can I forget what you've done for me? How can I forget how you made me free? Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget. No, never. Give the Lord a hand, praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all that you do, Lord Jesus. How can I forget what you've done for me? Thank you. We thank God for another day of being in this church. And God is real. And today I'm starting my series on Jesus and why we while we baptize in the name of Jesus and fill with the Holy Ghost and you must know this and I 
I'm just preaching what he always told me to preach. And he said, go on to all the world and preach the gospel. Him that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And uh, let us go to Matthew 16. Then what? They, how that he bade them not to beware of laving of bread, but of the doctrine of what? The Pharisees and of the Sadducees. The doctrine is teaching. He, he was waking them up. And he said, I want you to be alert with their teaching. This is this what he's saying? I want to know why he said be alert with their teaching. They was one God people. <laughs> Look, then understood they, that he bade them not beware of the lab of bread, but of the teaching of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. Now the Sadducees didn't believe there would be a resurrection. Wait a minute. Now remember, Mary's Jesus' mother was a Pharisee. <laughs> Jewish. So he told them to beware of their teaching. Anybody hear me? Because guess what? I'm going to come on the scene. <laughs> <laughs> the doctrine of the Pharisees and Sadducees. And when Jesus came, see, the Pharisees and Sadducees, they didn't baptize in Jesus' name. They couldn't. Because Jesus has not died yet. So that's when the Pharisees came to the baptism, he said, You didn't bring repentance with you. What you what you doing there? They didn't come to get baptized. They come to observe. So he called them snakes. Vipers. Vipers up there coming. You coming here and I'm teaching and I'm preaching against repentance. I'm preaching for repentance so you can be saved and take, give you instructions. And you come to see what I'm going to say. You didn't come with the fruit of repentance. Now, remember, these are the 5,000 that he fed. These were strangers. <laughs> Matter of fact, these people knew their Bible. <laughs> they knew the Messiah was coming. They've been taught that all their life. But what they didn't realize, they, they thought he was coming out of the sky. They didn't know he was coming on the donkey. <laughs> so wait a minute. Who see that? Old generation of what? How can ye being evil speak it what? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak it. In other words, they didn't come to repent. <laughs> they didn't come to change their life. <laughs> Who is me? Go to Matthew 16 and 13. Read. When Jesus came to the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, who see the Son of Man? You don't see the Son of God, do you? The Son of Man. The Son of God is the blood. <laughs> Anybody hear me? 
I, the son of man, am. And some say that thou art John the Baptist. Read. And some, Elias, and others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. <laughs> and which he was, a prophet. He was everything. He said unto them, you know, he's not worried about what they say out there. God is talking to us in here. What do you say? I ain't worried about them out there. I want to know y'all that's following me. And Simon Peter asked, look, he said to them, who say ye? See, who say ye that I am? I'm questioning y'all. <laughs> Read. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the what? The Christ. Yes, Lord. The, the what? Son of the and he knew he had it right. He knew only, can, only God can show you that. If you don't think he was the Christ, God hasn't shown it to you. I don't believe it that way. I don't care what you believe. God have not showed it to you. <laughs> who, who see that? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art who? The son of the what? Now notice here. He called him Christ. Do you know who, who Christ is? Christ is God. <laughs> Christ is God and God is Christ. <laughs> Anybody hear what I said? But you can call Jesus that. Anybody hear me? You call him that. Because <laughs> Christ ain't never been born. Christ don't have no beginning. And Christ don't have no end. Amen. Matter of fact, Christ followed them, followed Moses and them <laughs> in the Old Testament. <laughs> Jesus wasn't here, but he, he's the Christ. Why is they calling him Christ when Christ ain't never been born? I'm going to show it to you today. And Jacob begot who? The hub of Mary, of whom was born, where he was born? Jesus. I told you he wasn't born Christ. Because Christ can't be born. Didn't I say Christ was God? Put, matter of fact, prove the word Christ. Let's see what it means. The Messiah, Jesus. <laughs> Who see that? Anybody see that? Yeah. Go back. Who see? Hold up. Who see that? Anointed. So you dealing with the Spirit? <laughs> so wait a minute. You're not dealing with a person. You dealing with a Spirit when you say Christ. Now go back. Now look, Jacob begot Joseph. The what? The Christ ain't Joseph ain't never been the father of Christ. Amen. The husband of who? Of whom was born what? Was he born Jesus or was he born Christ? <laughs> He didn't say born Jesus Christ, did he? Whoever is the partaker of the blood is the father. And Joseph didn't touch Mary. Let me show you what I mean by call. On the street, my name is Jonas. 
but they call me dog. <laughs> Who hear me? Why? Because of my character. Who hear me? The women gave it to me. He ain't nothing but a dog. Ain't that women do it? Let's go to you, am I right? They, they're calling him by his character. He's a dog. Now, my, now, my name is Jonas, but he's a good man. So you can call him Christ. <laughs> you call him Jesus Christ. Because why? He was anointed. And that's what the Christ is. The anointed. So you can call him Jesus Christ. But he wasn't born Jesus Christ. He was born Jesus. You know what he said? His human nature was born. Which consists of flesh and blood. <laughs> Anybody hear me? That belly come out you. Uh, look, when that baby come out, it's in that belly. You start eating weird things and you start sleeping more. You know why? Because there's a baby down in there. So your body changes. So when the baby come out, tell me what to do. So when Rochelle came out, I see the do like this. And, they, and they guess what I was waiting on? To cry. Ah! When that baby hit, the doctor hit him. He real silent. And, and everybody watch that. Come on, come on, come on. And then when it start hollering, there you go. And the mother can hear it. She might not see the baby, but she can hear the cry. And you'll say, oh, my baby's born. And then they take you in there, sew you back up. First thing you know, where's my baby? I want to see him. I know he's alive because I heard his cry. Why was he crying? Because when he breathed in, he breathed in the spirit of God. And God gave the baby life. And that, and that spirit hit that blood and gave the blood life. And the blood had life in it. Yes. <laughs> See, your blood got oxygen in it. So when the baby started crying, you knew that the baby was born. So Jesus was born just like the rest of us. Same way. The only difference is that his blood came from God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Anybody hear me? Because the blood is in the sperm and Joseph did not have sex with her. She was a virgin. And God is the father. So tell me about the blood. The blood is clean. It's not tainted. It just is pure. Because it came from God. Who hear me? It came from God. Go to uh, uh, St. John 1 and 18. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to show you. This is this, this what it was. No man has seen what? God. Where? At any time. The only begotten son, which is in the bosom of the father, he had what? Declared me. Declared me he had made known. <laughs> He's been made known. Who with me? Pull up the word declare. Rehearse, unfold. Now, he, uh, like uh, uh, up here now, unfold, um, I am unfolding you to Jesus. I, I, I'm unfolding your mind. So your mind got to be unfolded so you can have an understanding and who Jesus is and who God is. Yes, Lord. Now, now you see that? Who's the word? T E L. L. Somebody got to tell it. And if somebody's telling it, you better open your ears to hear it. Because it got to be unfolded. Because you think one way and God think another. And, and you think it's like this when it's not like that in your brain until scripture get down in there. Go, go, go to St. John 7 38. Thank 
Thank you, Lord. Now, hold on, stop right here. No, no man has seen God. Is there. Hey, his son haven't even seen him. And you talk about, I seen the Lord when? Yesterday. <laughs> Somebody came to me years ago. Tell my pastor, I seen the Lord. I said, you lie. You can't call nobody no liar. How you know you wasn't there? I don't have to call nobody a liar. I believe the scripture. No, no, what? No man. So this man gonna tell me that when he, when he said no man, and I'm gonna believe him over him? No man has seen the spirit. Moses had to turn his back. <laughs> if you seen God, your whole brain will melt. <laughs> yes. Y'all, he made the sun. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> if you can't touch the sun, you sure can't touch God. No man seen God where? At any time. I don't care what. Uh, it's in the word anytime. And then, you tell, then you got folks about the rapture coming uh, next week. Nobody know that day. They lie. <laughs> I had a dream. Now we know it's going to be close, but nobody knew exactly when it's going to happen. We know that from times and action of things that's happening now. Rumors of wars. And now that's, that, that's the only way we're going to know that it's getting close to the end. When it get close to this, homosexuality is going to get worse and worse. It already is. Because God showed you a type of how the rapture is going to happen. <laughs>